Jeremy S. Cook here, and I'm a big fan of CR2032 coin cell batteries. They provide just over 3 volts of electricity in a very compact size. You can plug one into a small holder, then connect the leads as needed. But what if you need more than 3 volts? You could connect several holders in series, but the size adds up, negating one of the important benefits of these cells. My solution? Shrink wrap. Select the smallest size that will fit over two batteries stacked back to back, then cut a little smaller than its 20 millimeter diameter. Hit it with a heat gun, and it holds the two together nicely. Generously strip two wires, allowing enough pair leads to wrap it around the insulation several times. This will slide under the shrink wrap, forming a solid connection with the battery. Once the wires are inserted, apply more heat, then test the voltage. If everything is done properly, you'll see just over 6 volts on your multimeter. Once you're satisfied it's working, permanently attach the wires with hot glue, then clean off any excess. As for what you might do with this type of assembly, I've been working on a top secret project shown only to viewers that can make it past one minute in my videos. It'll be a wireless Wii nunchuck with an Arduino, transmitter, and two batteries shoved inside. I'll put a link up to the project once it's complete. Should be pretty cool. Of course, you can do the same thing with one battery. Just find the right size shrink wrap and repeat the process. In this case, the shrink wrap was nearly too tight and I had to pull the battery in with pliers. Also, note that I put the battery in before cutting the shrink wrap. This works, but remember to cut it before applying heat. Finish it off with hot glue and you've got a convenient compact battery pack for roughly 3 volts. What if you want to use 4 batteries for over 12 volts of power? That's easy enough too, just select the smallest shrink wrap that will enclose batteries, then repeat the process. I've included another clip of the wrap actually shrinking, as it looks pretty awesome. Once you see you've got full power, complete the job with hot glue, and you're done. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or even subscribe. Jeremy S. Cook, signing off. Of course, I didn't get this right in the first try. Here's a couple of mistakes I made. Uh, tried to hot glue it here, which didn't work because just couldn't get a good connection. Tried to tin the leads and then stick them in, which I thought this would have worked, but maybe I just didn't do it correctly. Other thing I tried, I tried to use this lock washer, put it in there. It, this kind of worked, but caused some resistance. I think with the right material, it probably would have worked okay. Anyway, I guess uh, practice makes perfect. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.